All right, so let's focus now on getting our Unity project set up. So one couple things I want to do with this is I want to set up the Unity project. Um, I, I want to import the Houdini engine, and then I also want to set it up with the Universal Render Pipeline. All right, just so we're using some of the latest and greatest. So I am going to be using Unity 2019.2, I believe. So uh, let's jump into Unity and take a look. All right, so I've gone ahead and launched Unity Hub 2.1.3, and this allows me to organize my projects, create new projects. So I highly recommend using it. It's much easier, much faster than previous. So I highly recommend using Unity Hub to manage all your Unity versions, all your Unity projects, uh, packages, stuff like that. So uh, really cool. What I'm going to do is come over here to the new tab, and we are going to create a new 2019.3. Unity project. All right, so I have the 2019.3.0 beta 8. All right, so we're going to select that one. This is so I can take advantage of the universal render pipeline. And what's going to happen is Unity is going to launch the create a new project browser here. And it's going to ask me for a couple pieces of information. In this case, it needs a project name. So I'm going to call this uh, intro uh, to PDG. And I am going to save it into my IndiePixel folder that's on my desktop, or not on my desktop, in my documents. Yeah, lots of Unity projects there. Constantly creating Unity projects. So what I'm going to do is launch the Universal Render Pipeline. But in this case, I've found that I don't really like to launch it from this particular button because it comes in with a bunch of starter assets. Which is cool, and you know, honestly, if you want the starter assets, go for it. Um, but in this case, I want to save myself some time, and I don't want it to import all that stuff. Now, you'll notice that um, it's telling us that it's going to import shader graph, post processing stack, which is great, presets, and example content. And there's no way to really toggle those things off, at least not that I found. So I'm going to select 3D and just set up the universal render pipeline manually. So I'm going to hit create. And once Unity has gone and created the project, I will be right back. So it should launch here pretty soon. You'll start seeing the logo and it'll start running through and installing all the stuff for us to get a new project ready to go. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so now we have a new project up and rolling. Let's go and create a folder for our project. So I'm gonna come in here and say create folder and we're gonna call this intro to PDG and inside of that folder I want to create a couple of common folders that we always use such as art and we want to create a folder for our HDAs and we are going to create maybe some code let's put in a code folder that always usually usually happens inside of unity over here we create some sort of code so let's start there uh, maybe we'll actually create a scene too so we'll say uh, scenes even though Unity creates one by default for us. I never end up using that. I just, I like to set up all my own custom stuff. All right. So with our scene up here, let's come up here and save it to our new scenes folder. So let's jump into our asset folder here. And I'm going to call this the um, intro PDG level 001. Sounds good. All right. So. With that all set up, let's get the universal render pipeline going. So I'm going to come into the package manager. So I'm going to go up to window. We're going to go to package manager and I'm going to wait for all these guys to load up and I want to come to the drop down and say all packages and reload all this stuff because currently um, not all the packages are displayed and we are actually interested in preview packages here. Okay. And when we do that, you can see if we scroll all the way down until we get to use down here, we will have the universal RP. You can also go and search for it. So you can start typing in universal like so. And there you go. Look at that. All right. So with that, I'm going to go and install that universal RP package because that contains everything that we need to work with the universal render pipeline. And I'm going to wait for it to install and I'll be right back. All right, so the universal render pipeline is now installed, and you know this because now the button switched over to remove. So we are all good. So let me get rid of this guy right here. 
Awesome. So now what we need to do, I'm going to go in here and actually create a new folder called uh, render pipeline because we need to create a specific type of asset here. So I need to right click here, go to create. And what I want to do is go and create a new render or universal render pipeline asset. All right. So we want to create one of these guys and I'm just going to call this the URP asset, something like that. You can name it whatever you want, really. All right, so then what we want to do is we want to go to project settings and we want to go to our graphics up here and we want to set the new render pipeline asset. So I am going to drag and drop my render pipeline asset over here and just plop it into there. And there we go. We now have the universal render pipeline all set up with all, all of its defaults. All right, so we are good to go. One last thing that's always good to do is come in here now and create a new global volume for our post effects. So if we do that, you can see now we have uh, the ability to go and set all of our post effects. So we can create a new volume profile like so. And once it's finished, we can go and start to add all of our post processing effects like we are usually able to do. All right. So I'm going to maybe set some of this tone mapping here and set it to aces now tone mapping should only be used when working in hdr make sure that we turn on our fast approximate anti-aliasing and then we want to go to our actual our urp asset over here so we want to select this guy over here and we want to make sure that we turn on our hdr all right we can also keep the anti-aliasing disabled because we're using it on the camera over here all right so with that, we now have our project all set up. We'll, we'll talk more about Universal Render Pipeline as it comes up. Uh, we, I want to keep the focus on using PDG with Houdini Engine inside of Unity. All right, so let's call that good and move on to the next lecture.